Hi guys, my name is Sandy. I'm a licensed realtor here with BEX Realty in Orlando, Florida, surrounding areas in Central Florida. I'm doing a series of videos of rent to own. I'm doing how does it work, what are the pros and cons, all that kind of stuff. So if you go ahead and subscribe to this channel, you'll be able to get a wealth of real estate information. Right now we're on the topic of rent to own, but we do all, all various things. We do new construction, um, first time home buyers, second home buyers, relocating, all these different things. Today, this video is going to be on the dangers of rent to own agreements. So if you're looking to rent to own a property, um, what the agreement will look like, what are some of the stuff you should look for and make sure you're not stuck in something that you don't want, right? So rent to own is a program where you're able to rent a property with the option to purchase. And the program that we're a part of, we're with Own Partners of America, and that program allows the seller to sell the property to you, to sell the property to Own Partners of America, and then Own Partners of America will rent it back to you with the option to purchase. So you're not limited just in properties for sale. A lot of times sellers, when they're selling, if the property is up for sale, you know, you could go and say, hey, would you consider renting it? But a lot of times the sellers don't want to rent it. They will just want to sell it because they want all their cash and they want to move on. Well, if you find a seller like that, that's great because Own Partners of America will come in and purchase it from that seller and they rent it to you with the option to purchase. So that's kind of what it does. So if you don't know what the whole thing about rent to own is and you're watching this video, go back and watch our video on how does rent to own works and it, it, we explain the whole thing. I don't want to do that in this video. I want to stick on the agreements. So most of the time with, with rent to own, with the option to purchase, there's always a time frame as to the time you could purchase the property. So you want to make sure that in the agreement, it states what time frame, up to what time do you have to purchase the property, right? That's one thing. Secondly, what's going to be the purchase price? And if you have up to five years to purchase a property, is it going to be the same price in year one as opposed to year five? So if you purchase a property in year one, it's going to be x price you want if you purchase it five years from now or two years from now or three years from now what is that price going to be that the agreement should should clearly state that you also want to know what your monthly rent would be and if and based upon how much years it take for you to purchase the property you need to know if your rent will be going up and if your rent will be going up it should be spelled out in the agreement right so you should know okay if i purchase in your if i rent in year one this is year one's rent if i don't purchase in year one i go to year two this is year two rent all that need to be um, stated up front to you. You also need to know the conditions of purchasing the property once you decide to purchase it. So it's rent with option to purchase, but now you need to know, okay, I'm, um, I have a three-year agreement with you. Uh, I could purchase any time between year one to year three or year five, whatever it is. If I'm purchasing, what are what are the stipulations? Do I get to do my own home inspection? Am I gonna be able to do my own appraisal? What's, what's, what's gonna happen? Um, am I gonna be restricted to the bank I use for the financing? right? So all this stuff you need to know. Also, you must have paid a deposit when you started the rent to own program. Now you need to know where that deposit goes. Am I going to, am I going to get my deposit back or is that deposit going to go towards the purchase price? Another thing you need to know about rent to own um, program and agreements is you need to know if something happens while, during the process of your, of while you're renting the property, what happens? So let's say you're renting the property and um, the furnace or the AC went out right or who, who takes care of that or the dishwasher broke or the refrigerator breaks what will takes care of that a lot of times at rent to own agreement there's always a up to a limit where you're responsible for the cost so some agreements might read something like anything any damages or any maintenance that's needed up to a thousand dollars is your responsibility anything over a thousand dollars is the homeowner's responsibility or the company you're doing the rent with option to buy responsibility so you need to know what that figure is you need to know are they going to take care of everything if anything goes wrong while i'm renting before i purchase it or is it a, is it an agreement where up to 500 dollars? if anything goes wrong up to 500 dollars, you're responsible for anything over 500 dollars, then the um the company we are doing the rent with option for will take care of it that should be spelled out in the agreement and um for before you sign any agreement you should definitely take it to an attorney or someone else, or a legal aid, an attorney, somebody that's gonna be able to go to the agreement with you and explain to you what these words mean. Because a lot of times some of these words are so intertwined, you're like, what does that mean? And you don't know, right? And they're like, oh, that's nothing, that's, that's not normal. It goes in every agreement. You don't want anybody to tell you that, right? You don't want people to tell you, 
it's normal all the agreement have it just go ahead and sign it you want to make sure you go to an attorney because this is a serious thing right our, our legal aid to make sure you know what the agreement is reading and what you're signing to now i'll tell you what our agreement that we work we work with own partners of america i'll tell you what their agreement looks like in their agreement they, you have up to five years in florida not every state have this um program by the way because I know New York doesn't have it at this time in 2020. With the, 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 the program isn't in New York as yet, but it is in Florida. However, with, with the Own Partners of America program, they spell out to you, you have up to five years in Florida. If you're buying in Florida, you have up to five years to purchase a property. Each year, your lease is going to renew. So when you start renting in year one, at the end of year one, your lease is going to expire. If you decide to continue, then in year two, you have to sign a new lease for here too, and so on until the five years. It also tells you what your rent will be for every time you renew your lease. So for every lease renewal, you there's going to be an increase in rent. That's spelled out for you. It also tells you what your purchase price will be when you purchase the property. So from year one to year five, what will the purchase price be? Year one, year two, year three, year four, year five. It tells, it's, that's, that's spelled out um, up front. It also tells you who's responsible for what kind of maintenance. So up to what amount of maintenance, who's responsible for it, and when will own partners actually maintain, like at what price point. That's all spelled out for you in the agreement, so you know what you're getting into moving going forward. It also tells you you could purchase the property at any point during from year one to year five, and based upon what area you're in, you'll know what the purchase price will be. Okay, so that's very important. Um, you're not, it also tells you you're not obligated for five years, even though you could go up to five years, but at any point if the lease ends, you could move and go to somewhere else. If you decide, you know what, I don't want to purchase this property anymore, I don't like it, whatever the situation is, as long as the lease ends, then you could leave. If, if you're breaking the lease, and it also tells you what happens if you break the lease. So if, say, in lease in year one, you're doing the lease, and six months later, you're like, I really, something happened, you have to relocate, your job is moving you, whatever the situation is, it tells you what that, what that would be if the lease is broken. So in every agreement that you sign when it comes to rent to own, you want to make sure you know exactly if you break the option, if you break the option to purchase, what will happen? Is there any penalties towards that? You also want to know, and by the way, with Own Partners of America, you could, once you're ready to purchase a property, you could use whatever bank you want. You're going to do your own home inspection. You can do your own appraisal. There's no, there's no restrictions on that. It's a fabulous program, but I do think you should also watch the video on how does rent to own works. And we have that video as well. Um, so you understand the whole the whole thing around it. Um, again, my name is Sandy. I am licensed in Florida and New York, but I'm mostly in Florida because of the weather. <laughs> um, and I cover most of the central Florida area. Okay, if you have any questions, we have some links below that you could email us or send us a comment or go on our website, get some more information on this program. It's a great program leading to home ownership. Thank you so much. I do appreciate your time.